at students of class 6 welcome back to our social science class so today we will be again looking at the history lesson 1 that is Vedic culture in North India and Megalithic culture in South India so I hope you remember that we have already done two parts in the same lesson so this is the part 3 of the lesson 1. Today we will be looking at the contemporary culture in South India and Tamil Nadu and then we will be looking some of the megalithic or the Iron Age archaeological sites in Tamil Nadu. So let's quickly get into our topic. So when we say contemporary culture in South India and Tamil Nadu, it is divided into two types that is the early Vedic period and the later Vedic age. So the early was called as the Calcolithic period. So the early Vedic age is known as the Calcolithic period. And the later Vedic age is known as the megalithic period. So these are the two names given for the periods. So let's get into our two types. First, what is the calcolithic period? The early Vedic age in North India was also called as the Catholic culture and they lived in the subcontinent since people were using the copper that is the copper's name was calco and stone that is the lithic they combined it and called it the Catholic period and the later Vedic age in North India and the Iron Age in South India belonged to the same period. So how did the name occur? It came from the copper and stone that the people of that age used. So thus it was called as Calcolithic period. So what is Megalithic period? Towards the end of the Iron Age, when the Iron Age came to an end, people stepped into the Megalithic culture. So this was ancient Tamilagam and the pre-Sangam period. The black and red ware pottery became the characteristic of megalithic period. So here the people were making pots and the pots were either in black color or in red color. So this is all about the calcolithic and the megalithic period. Calcolithic period was early period when people used copper and stone and the megalithic period was the end of Iron Age and the beginning of the pre-Sangam and the Tamilagam and the main was black and red ware pottery. So moving on, secondly we will be seeing some of the megalithic or the Iron Age archaeological sites in Tamil Nadu. So, we might wonder what is the evidence that these people lived here. So, the archaeologists found some evidences and the places where they found were in Adichanalur, that is Tutukuri district, Keladi, Sivagangai district, Porundal, Dindigal district, Payampalli, Velu district and Kodamanal Ero district. So these were the places where the evidences regarding the megalithic or the Iron Age were found. So let's look at the items that were found in these places. First, Adichanalur, that is Tutukudi district. So here they found urns pottery of various kind like the red war and the black war they found iron implements like daggers that is knife 
sword spears and arrows some stone beads and few gold ornaments like you see in the picture they had swords then they had uh, arrows then they had the pots and many more and it says that the bronze object had animal pictures animal like tiger antelope that is the anteater and then elephant were being drawn on those bronze objects and the people were skillful in making pottery and working stone and wood so they worked with the stones wood and they made pots and what did they paint on the bronze pots they painted domestic animals like tiger antelope and elephant so what did the archaeologists get from additional lore they got urns that is big pots in which dead bodies were buried and then they got many pottery and then they got daggers swords that is the knife arrows and they also got bronze objects which had animal pictures on it so this was all about what evidence they collected from additional lore so moving on is kiradi that is sivagangai district so here the archaeologist excavated an ancient town that is this town where they went to search was an ancient one dating to sangam age so here they saw many brick that is stones which which with which the buildings were built so they came to know that the buildings which were built were finely built and they also had a good drainage system and in the pots they got the tamil brahmi inscriptions and in the before place we saw that the inscription that is the picture painted on the pots were animals but here the picture was the tamil brahmi scripts then they also found beads of glass carnelian quartz pearl and gold ornaments they got iron objects shell ivory and many more they got when they dig the land and some of the things that they got were sent to florida that is usa and when they checked on it they said these materials belong to 200 bc and this was all about what they got from kiladi moving on next is porundal that is in the dindigal district so here they found grave goods and then beads that were in red color white color yellow color blue color and green color then they found iron sword that is knife then they found many scripts of poetry and pottery so what did they get like we saw earlier on the pots they came to know about the brahmi script then the pots were filled with rice and semi precious metals such as quartz carnelian bangles made of glass and shell so they the the pots were not fully filled with rice instead they also had these precious things inside the rice and they discovered iron sickle that is with which you reap the crop and then they got in more evidences so these people had a rice as their staple food and that was proved while seeing the rice inside the pot so what did they get from the porundal dindigal district they got beads they got 
to know that rice was the food then they got many precious things so moving on is payampalli so here they found the megalithic back and red bear pottery and here iron smelting has come to light so they came to know how to melt the iron and the date of this culture is 1000 bc so it dated back to the 1000 bc so that was all about payampalli moving on is kodumanal ero district so here they had inscriptions on 300 pottery that is they found more than 300 pots which had tamil brahmi inscriptions on it moreover they found spindles whorls that was with which they thread cotton and then they found tools weapons ornaments beads and moreover they also saw the menhir that is a burial site so these were the things that the archaeologists found from kodumanal so what all other topics that we have discussed today we have discussed about the contemporary culture in south india that is the early vedic period and the later vedic period and some of the megalithic or the iron age archaeological sites in india so we saw that there were many places that had evidence regarding the sites and uh, that's all for today's class students thank you